Communication through internal and external exchanges of information is critical to all life forms, from the simplest single cell organisms to the phenomenal complexities of the human brain. And communication is absolutely necessary to the survival of every human being. We're all born helpless and dependent, and our species is not physically equipped to survive unless we work together to gather food, build shelters, and create secure communities. All of that requires communication, the process of sharing meanings by sending and receiving messages. Communication helps us discover our own potential and learn how the world works. It links us with other people and enables us to solve problems and adapt to our environment. Leadership and followership are also processes for solving problems and helping a group adapt to its environment. Since leadership and followership always involve more than one person, they also depend on effective communication. Studies of management behavior in organizations indicate that managers spend about 90% of their time communicating with their colleagues in one way or another. Studies also show that the most effective organizations are extremely active and extremely open in their communication behavior at all levels. Communication can take place for many different reasons and in many different ways. But the general process always involves several key features. It's helpful to think of human communication as a cycle involving two or more individuals or groups who send and receive messages. Senders transmit messages about ideas or feelings and receivers interpret those messages and try to relate them to their own ideas and feelings. In other words, communication always begins and ends with perception in somebody's brain.